Thank you for thank you all the participants for staying here for so long, and I'm really excited to deliver more information about our business school. The good thing is that we recently extended our deadline to end of May, so you guys still have some bit of time to prepare some required documents. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, to introduce myself, my name is Tasso Kim. Uh, I'm an admissions team at Zhejiang University International Business School. And before I work, began working here, I was actually a master's degree student here, graduated two years ago. So I'm really proud of myself introducing our school and then beautiful campus here today. So before we actually go into the main contents, let me share you a short video clip, which can uh, show you a better idea, a better picture about our beautiful campus and our student life. Following the people-oriented philosophy, International Campus has been committed to serving faculty and students and combining the best practices of the East and the West. The architectural style, integrating the ancient and the modern, is a blending of a new classical style and traditional architectural elements of Zhejiang University striking a perfect balance between internationalization and localization. A whole person education model is practiced on an international campus with concerted efforts from joint institutes, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and residential colleges and with equal emphasis on specialized education, general education and whole person development. I think what we're trying to do here is actually give you everything that you need to develop your future and your future capacity. I see no reason why the future here isn't very bright indeed. Here it's fun because we have a, a much smaller cohort and we can try new things. We can do things across disciplines that are difficult to do at either of the parent schools. As you could have seen from our campus video and, and our international campus, uh, the, the campus that you just saw from the video is our seventh campus, which is located in a city called Haining, which, uh, which is just a newest campus opened in 2016. And then our international campus is really pursuing the diversity of a cultural. So when I was studying here, uh, my master's degree in management, I studied with 32 other different, uh, 32 different classmates from 25 different countries. So it was a marvelous experience for me to actually get to know of each other's cultural, not only the Chinese cultural. And then our campus is international campus and our Jordan University International Business School is really uh, helping students to pursue their entrepreneurship and leadership. So we provide a lot of company visits or we provide a lot of opportunities to our students to attend a lot of entrepreneurship uh, competitions or conferences uh, like that. So as you can see in the photo on the left side, it is the Alibaba Cloud Conference that is invited, our students are invited to attend. And also we have this International Student Council, which is independently uh, managed, uh, administrated within our Jiang University, who not only connects the international students and administration and helping international students settle in China, but also we're having a lot of fun inside of campus by organizing a lot of parties and Christmas parties, birthday parties, movie nights, and color run and so on. So actually, uh, personally, I'm really sharing what I personally experienced in our campus that I, in this new country, I met my new family new in this new home. And then, as we always say, uh, our international students, we always say to each other, we're not, we're not only coming to China to study, but we're coming to China to live and to live in the best place, we need to find a great platform to study. So to get to give you more further understanding about Zhejiang University, our university is actually the have the longest, one of the longest history of university with more than 124 years of history, with more than 54,000 students studying over seven different campuses. We're literally ranked top three in China, Worldwide ranking, QS worldwide rank in 2021, it was 56. 
And we are having, we're providing more than 140 global study programs to the international students. So Jordan University is becoming a real top platform, nurturing the leaders and the entrepreneurs among the global international students. And our Dutang University International Business School is actually very innovative, embarked very recently. We were created uh, in this international campus of Dutang University in 2018. Uh, and then the reason we actually embarked this uh, business school is because, as you know, as you did research already among the Chinese university, we don't want to provide a degree program only related to Chinese culture or language, but also we want to nurture the business leaders, uh, global business leaders or global entrepreneurs within our campus. So we embarked this international business school, delivering the business and management and finance and fintech related degree programs in English to the international talents. And we have a very worldwide corporate and kind of partnerships already established, including the University of Cambridge, Wharton School, or Smart Africa, and also many, many uh, well-known business schools around Southeast Asia and US area as well, including the Ant Group, which is an affiliated company of Alibaba. So to closely look at the partnership with the Ant Group, we are very closely partnering in terms of not only the not only the just academic partnerships, but also in terms of research or mentoring or providing a mentors for our students and also company projects. They deliver the company projects to uh, or for our students and also internship opportunities. So our, uh, our students could not only just sit down in the classroom and learn something academical knowledge, but also gain the practical knowledge with our these academy and corporate partnerships. And these are our faculty members, uh, as you can see from the list. Uh, the dean and vice dean and then our domestic faculty members and also international faculty members, as you can see some uh, like familiar names, Dr. Han is my, my country in South Korea, I'm from Korea, by the way, my country's previous prime minister, or Leslie Go is uh, from Singapore, who's a formal CEO, CTO of the World Bank, or Dr. Rui, as I mentioned, from Ant Group, vice president of Ant Group, and Dr. Jaya is also from South Africa, who is the uh, head of the BRICS Research Center. So these professors are not only just delivering you academic knowledge or theoretical knowledges, but also deliver their practical experiences and their network to our students. So actually, this can be a really great opportunity for our students to get to know of each of these diverse industries and then build up their network. So to get to know further about the degree programs that we are offering, we're currently offering four different master's degree program and one undergraduate program. So four different master's degree program, including MBA, Master of China Studies, Master of Communication and Business, Master of Finance, and one undergraduate program called Global Communication and Management. So let me introduce these one by one. So MBA. As you all know, MBA is the most professional degree program, worldwide recognized, the most versatile degree program that you can literally get recognized by any anywhere you're getting a job. And then actually, it's a kind of a straightway uh, highway for you to get an managerial position in the organization. And in our MBA program, uh, we named it into International MBA. I stands for international, and the degree is actually MBA degree. The reason we put International MBA as a program name is because we want to emphasize this is actually nurturing a global leadership uh, who has the understanding about this international society market. So we not only deliver a very foundational theory of the management and business, but also we deliver practical knowledge throughout our mentors and industrial leaders. So we do have a lot of like company business or uh, company projects doing together with the mentors and also the internships as well. 
Uh, so our students would get to know, understand not only about doing business in China, but also cross-cultural business skills that they can nurture within this MBA program. And especially we are trying to diversify the class demographics so that students can not only learn from the teachers, but also learn from each other by their, each other's network. So we provide a lot of salons or, or seminars during weekends so that we can, we can uh, nurture the networking within the classroom. So our MBA program has two different formats, part-time and full-time. Part-time is a weekend modules, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every two weeks. So that's why the program length is a little bit long, 2.5 years, including the thesis. And this is open for both non-Chinese and Chinese participants. In terms of full-time format, it's a two, two years total modular uh, weekdays classes, but also there are some times that you join the part-time format classes so that you can interact with the Chinese can, uh, Chinese participants. And the full-time format includes thesis and internship. This Master of Finance is also one of our very main core de degree program that we're delivering to the fresh graduate students. So those who want to build up a very deep knowledge in the cutting edge industry trends in China and abroad, and also want to build up their, who want to build up their foundational theory in terms of finance, accounting, and also information analysis, and also business. So we deliver starting from basic. So even though the students who want to apply to master finance, but who are afraid that their background is not finance, it's okay because we deliver from the very foundational theory. But also we help students build a very practical uh, uh, knowledge as well by delivering some, by connecting them with our finance and fintech leading companies, and then doing a confident project internships together. So this is actually a very fun and professional degree program. The format of IMF is two years, including internship, and this is open for both Chinese and non-Chinese students. So students were able to learn not only uh, the, these knowledges in English, but also we have the, all the degree programs that we provide has a Chinese language courses. So our students won't gonna happen that they graduate without speaking any Chinese. So don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, the next degree program is Master of Communication Business, which this is open for those who want to actually build a successful career in the media, marketing, communication, international business, and management sector. So this combines the, the non theoretical knowledge of communication and business sector. So this has three different modules, China Studies modules, Communication module, and a business module. And it's all delivered in English, and it includes the internship in the communication and business sector. This is also two years uh, module, including the internship and thesis. And this is only open for non-Chinese students because it is it includes the China Studies module. And the final master degree program is Master of China Studies. This is, is literally we're nurturing the expert in China who understands not only the Chinese culture and language, but also very diverse sectors, uh, society, uh, political economy, and also this uh, doing business in China as well. So it, it not only delivers a very intensive Chinese language courses, but also in terms of business sector and the cultural sector. This year, we are offering two different tracks in terms of business track and the cultural track. So students who want to focus on the business sector, they can choose business track in the second year, and also the, in, who want to in, pursue more in terms of culture, they can excel in the culture track. This is also two years delivered fully in English, only open for non-Chinese, and uh, this also includes thesis and internship. And this is our last uh, degree program, undergraduate program called Global Communication Business uh, Management. This is also a combinational degree program, very exceptional degree program offered for foreign students delivered fully in English. This delivers uh, three different modules as well, China Studies, Communication Module, and Management. 
So students would not only have a deep understanding about the Chinese cultural and then business inside China, they also would get to know, understand about cross-cultural communication or media coverage, or also management sectors as well. It not only delivers a theoretical foundation of each the sectors, but also it gives a very practical insights by participating in a lot of company visits or cultural activities, volunteer communities, or uh, doing an internship with the leading communication and business uh, industries. So this is in total four years, including an internship, uh, that, and it is only for open for non-Chinese as well. So, so far it was an introduction about our degree programs, and uh, these are the admissions process. Our admission already started. We all, our admission already st always starts every year December and then finishes by the original deadline was end of April, but recently we extended to end of May. So you guys still have a chance to uh, submit your application. The applicants are pretty simple, straightforward. You get you can just create an account in the on online application platform and submit all the required documents and send those documents to the email. Uh, we didn't uh, don't allow those posting because of the this worldwide pandemic situation. You can just post it, uh, send it to email to each degree program email. So if you're applying for the MBA, you send to the MBA email address. You can find the email address in our official website. And after receiving your uh, application, we will arrange your online interview. And after two to three weeks of interview, you will get to know, you will first receive pre-admissions letter. And then official admissions letter will be sent during around uh, July. So these are the required documents. Uh, due to the restraint of time, I will just quickly skip these required documents. You can check the very detailed guidance in the admissions process in our official website. You can even ask the China admissions uh, staff here as well, who very understand about the admissions process. These are the scholarships available for international students. We uh, All the applicants can apply for ZIPs first year scholarship. ZIP stands for Zhejiang University International Business School. Uh, this is for uh, very uh, outstanding uh, applicants. We gave the scholarship and this will be distributed to as a living allowance for the first 10 months. And the amount will be between 10,000 to 40,000 RMB up to. You can download this scholarship form at our official website here and then submit together with your application. And here are the other scholarships, including Chinese government scholarship. I believe everybody knows about this, and also Zhejiang University scholarship. And you can check more information at the link here in our Zhejiang University website. So, so far it was about the degree program. And before we go into the Q&A session, I'll quickly introduce our Hainan International Campus. So first of all, where does the city called Hainan located? It's located actually strategically located right between Hangzhou and Shanghai, so it's very easy to commute between, especially between Hangzhou and Haining. We recently opened our subway metro that can connect directly to Hangzhou within 32 minutes. And uh, also there is a school shuttle bus connects uh, six, six campuses located in Hangzhou and then one campus located in Haining. So there is a city school shuttle bus open, freely open for students from Monday to Saturday. And from Hainan to Shanghai, if you take a train, it only takes uh, 58 minutes, uh, which is very convenient for me. Uh, and then these are the school, our campus. And um, I don't know the, whether our time will avail, but I will just quickly share you our dormitory and campus facilities videos here. So uh, I don't think the time will be available, so I will share you this. Uh, all of our campus facilities are, are available for students who the gymnasium, swimming pool, uh, tennis court. As I told you, our campus is newly built, so everything is very new. And then I lived here in the dormitory. Uh, all the students can have their private room. And then I lived by myself, lived there as a student for two years, which was super convenient for me. Everything just downstairs, there are gym, dancing room, yoga room, game room, meeting rooms, piano, band rooms, and then there's washing machines and public kitchens, so, which is very convenient for me. And then most importantly, it's 800 RMB a month, which is really a uh, low price. So far it was the presentation about it. And uh, 
uh, before we go to the Q&A session, I just wanted to share you. Thank you so much for, for attending this presentation, focusing on it. And if you have any questions, you can just uh, quickly scan the QR code or you want to call with me or send me an email or ask the China Admission staff. Thank you. Hi, that's all. Thank you so much for your presentation about the programs at Zips. So yeah, we have a couple of questions we can cover in this Q&A. The first one is uh, about the application deadline. So as you mentioned, it is extended to May, 30, uh, May 31st, right? Does this apply to both bachelor's and master's program? Yes, correct. Great, yeah, guys, we have more time to apply for uh, SIPs, bachelor's and master's program now, because it is already extended to May 31st, so make sure not to miss this opportunity. And then the second question is related to ZIPS, uh, IMBA program. So a lot of students who are interested with the IMBA program are asking about GMAT or GRE requirement. Is it also a requirement at ZIPS? Uh, of course, you can submit, but it's not required. We only require TOEFL or IELTS. TOEFL minimum 90, IELTS minimum 6.5. And on top of that, uh, two years of working experience as well. Oh, yes, that is definitely. But if you have studied your undergraduate in English or your mother tongue is English, definitely those English certificates, proficiency certificates are mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, uh, I think another question is about the alumni network. So I, I noticed that, you know, when studying for MBA programs, often universities can introduce the students to alumni networks at the university so that they can connect with other alumni as well, not only in China, but also overseas. Does ZIPS also provide this benefit for students who join MBA program? Definitely. So we have our ZIPS ambassadors uh, already. And then our ZIPS ambassadors so far has uh, several students who are ready to help you. So just follow our Instagram and Facebook. There you can find the ZIPS ambassador information as well. Unfortunately, we have, a, we are currently like a building up an alumni network. Mm -hmm. As I know, our University International Business School is very pretty young business school. So we don't have a quite number of alumni, but it is getting there. And then we have our current students. So we can always link the students, link the applicants to our current students. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yeah, there are plenty of opportunities to connect with the previous students as well at Zips. So I think the final questions is uh, mostly about the career opportunity. So what do you think is the career opportunities for international students after finishing their master's program at ZIPS, for example? Yeah, so uh, we, we are providing pretty diverse master's degree program, but the most important thing is the Jordan University International Business School. We have our career advisors, the mentors that guide the students because we know that even though you graduate MBA, they have their different interests in the different industries. We do have our very vast network in the uh, industries like uh, fintech industry, finance, but also other industries as well. And then we're trying to help the students to guide in their own interest and their own plan. So every student will basically have their own career mentors while during their study. And they're going to keep helping you, guiding you throughout the study years. Mm -hmm. Great, awesome. Yeah, so thanks Dasso for sharing all the information about bachelor's and master's program at SIPS. So yeah, we hope that this information is really useful for the students who are interested to study business programs at ZIPS. And don't forget guys, the application deadline is extended. You have more or less 20 days to finish your application, but don't wait until 20 days. It's always better to finish your application ASAP. Again, thanks Dazzle for the time and have a nice day. Thank you, bye.